Here we go. Ready? All right, guys, check it out. Now, what I did was I just had to uh, jerry rig some lopers up there. Let's see, I just, I, uh, you know, just clamped a block on either side of it so the lid could sit down, so I could transfer the marks from the hinges that are on the writing surface to the lid. Now, what I did, okay, is that I held it to the center and I just marked out one hinge, and I cut the hinge in and I put a screw in it. Now I came back, now you can see that the that this hinge doesn't fit all the way inside the slot. It's because of the bottom of my writing surface is hitting the cock beating because the front of it still needs to get a profile put on it. That's why there's, a, there's such a huge space here. So now that I have this hinge set, everybody, I can go lay out the other hinge down there. And I think I have like a kind of a weird problem here. It's it's not weird, it's just it needs a little work and maybe, maybe not, you know. I think that when I run the moldy on it, it'll take care of itself. So now that I have one butt set, I'm just gonna hold this one down and I'm just gonna mark it. Now I'm not gonna mark it all the way down the length of either side of the hinge because I definitely want to square it off the off the face of the uh, lid, okay? And I measured this back dimension, so I have a square still set at this dimension here, you know, from here to here. I still have that set on the uh, marking gauge, so I don't really need to uh, try to transfer it from here because it's not exact enough to be honest with you. So there, you can see that I have a couple of marks right here. And I'm just going to transfer them up with the um, with the steric until it looks like this one and then I'll uh, come back and try to fit this lid it's not gonna fit because I still have to cut the top but I'll be one step closer well guys here's the moment of truth <laughs> I don't know we'll see what the f happens man oh, I hope this is good now you see I put a piece of wood in the back so that the uh, the lid will kinda come down on an angle so I don't have to worry about bashing the cock beating in with the back of this lid you know what I'm saying all right, I'm, I'm a bit nervous, everybody. A little nervous here, guys. Girls, who's ever watching the podcast? Seriously. I mean, look at how much work I've put into this thing. I mean, not only the lid, but the writing surface and the, and the hinge work and, and the whole nine yards. I mean, you know, if I made a mistake here, it would literally be like a huge huge mistake like financially it would really set me back quite a bit and you know after demolishing the whole inside of the pigeon assembly hopefully I've already paid my dues on this piece you know none of this is you know done without blood that's for sure and I just don't want to give any more to this piece I mean honestly I feel as though I've done as much as I possibly can do mistake wise well that's not true I mean I could really make a lot of mistakes fast you know so hopefully I'm at the point where they're avoidable now you know what I mean they're avoidable everybody avoidable mistakes now from here this is where it gets tricky Boy, huh? Sir hinge a lot. <laughs> All right, now that I have the lid on, okay, it's time to try to cut this uh, angle on the top. Now, what I need to do, well, the first thing I need to do was cut it, obviously, so it was close to where I needed it to be. Now, you can see that I have a couple of series of marks over here on the on the uh, edge of it. Maybe you can't. All right, there's a few marks on the edge of the uh, door, or the lid, sorry. And what these are going to indicate is the, the front part of the, um, 
the lid, okay? And that's represented by this line here. And then this is the angle that it needs to be cut at so the door will, the uh, lid will close, okay? So what I need to do now is I need to take this, um, I need to transfer this information onto the table saw and just cut this off and keep my fingers crossed and hopefully uh, this lip will, will fit, you know? I'll probably just approach it slowly, you know, because I'm not going to try to take it all off in one swoop. So I'm just going to go up to the table saw, set this gauge. Now how I got this line, you know, I, I just, I basically put my bevel up to the, uh, up to the angle of the back side and the top side of this. You know, the bevel doesn't work like this, so you have to kind of put it in there so it fits. So I put it in there so it fit and it looks something like that. And you can't really take this to the table saw. So what I do is I took the bevel angle and I transferred it onto a piece of wood, okay? And then I cut it on the miter saw. And now all I had to do is hold this inside the rabbit of the door down here. I just held it inside the rabbit of the door and I got my angle. So that's how I get a nice little angle block. Now what makes this thing kind of sweet too is that all I need to do now is go over to the table saw and roll the blade down till it touches it, you know what I mean? And then uh, I'll just cut that line and then remove the rest of it with the uh, stack dado set. So I'm going to get to doing that and when I uh, do it hopefully we'll <laughs> see how it works. Well guys, I just got out of the machine room. I'm really nervous about this. Well, we'll see what the freak happens, huh, buddy? You know, I really have no idea what's going to happen. I'm hoping that it's going to be a little too tight, you know, and then I'll just be able to fit the lid a little bit, but who knows? The side of it doesn't look very good to me. It looks like I took too much off the side here, which would be catastrophic, you know? But I think I, I took too much off here, but just a little bit, you know, so I'll, I'll probably be able to, I will probably be able to move the writing surface in a little bit. I mean the lid. I'm hoping that I'm wrong though. I'm just not too sure. Wow, how close is that? I'm gonna zoom in on this guys just so you can see what I'm looking at, all right? Okay. Like the location of the hinge kind of dictates this, this little groove, well, it's a space right here. You know, that space right there does not belong there. See, so this whole, things got to slide in a little bit more so I mean it fits really tight it's too tight but I'd rather have it be tight like this because then I can always fit it you know I can just take the shoulder plane to it whatever but overall I didn't make any giant mistakes which is you know great I can take a little breath you know what I'm saying to you um, this right here is really not a good thing and to for the life of me, I don't understand it. I'm going to have to talk it over with Steve. You know, I did everything that, you know, we thought I was supposed to do. So what I'm thinking is that I'm probably just going to have to slide this hinge a little bit further and close up this gap that we have going down the, uh, going down the um, front of the writing surface. The lid, whatever. In between the writing surface and the lid, I'll probably have to shorten that up a little bit. Because this is what I think happens. Since I held this out further than what I typically would have liked, I would have liked just to have that split halfway on the bale, you know, that pin that's inside there. But since I pushed it out, it pushes the, the location of the, of the pivot on the hinge. And that's why you get a little bit of a space right here. Like, I was really, to be honest with you, expecting this to touch right here. This should be touching right now. And then I was planning on planing it until it closed. You know, and I didn't even take all the material off. This is still proud at the top here. So I don't know, I'm a little uh I'm a little worried. But I I don't think that it's anything you know that's not gonna work for us. So that's how you attach the writing surface. That's how you cut it. That's how you do all the crazy stuff to it. 
Now you can see that it's still proud. You know, what I need to do is I just need to, to cut this off so when I run the profile, it'll be a quarter of an inch, you know, around the whole thing, all the way around. <sighs> Major part of the puzzle right there, huh? That would make a break you. And, and it's not like there's another piece of material in the world like the one that's on the writing surface. If I made a mistake on those hinges or the side of the case or any, any of like the things that I've just gone over with you guys, it really would have made for a less spectacular uh, piece of work. Because not only is, is the wood matched on the writing surface, but the wood is also matched on the drawers underneath. So if I trash this, um, this lid, it really would have made a big difference over you know, the aesthetics of the whole piece. So I'm relieved. I really am. So pretty pumped. I know I don't look it, but I'm doing cartwheels inside. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep messing around with this thing and get it to where it needs to be so I can get my reveals perfect. And once I do that, you know, next time you see this lid, it'll have the profile on it and it will be attached. And I'll be uh, discussing how we put that lock on. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, you have any uh, pictures of your latest work that you might want to, you know, have us all view, go post it over at BobVila.com. Go to the Ref Cut Show, click onto my uh, forum, all right? It's on uh, taking off, guys, and it's been a lot of fun so far. Even though some of you like to, you know, give me a hard time, but that's okay. I like breaking balls, too. All right, man. See you later.